outside about 20 minutes ago, so before we came back on here at 7. It yeah. was really nice out, but you can feel the humidity. So yeah. you're the runner. I don't know if you'd go running because it's mild no, and I, a little muggy. I, well, I mean, that's, that's okay, I guess, but as it gets... Even even okay. just a little bit further on. I, I thought it was decently comfortable. I'd go for a walk right now. Okay. <laughs> I would never go for a run, so that doesn't yeah, matter. I was say you don't run anyway. <laughs> exactly. But we are mostly clear here in the metro. There are some thin clouds out there. They're going to be on the increase really through much of today. We'll still warm up regardless. South and southeast breeze in place. It's pretty light around here right now. It picks up a little bit more by late morning and into this afternoon. Nothing showing up on radar. A couple of sprinkles out there in Iowa. Not a big deal. And a couple of fizzling showers now still showing up well west of the viewing area. That was somewhat heavier rain early this morning. A couple of upper level disturbances providing the lift necessary for that rain. But one's kind of tracked into South Dakota at this point. You see some heavier rain there. Another one just kind of floated off here into the Oklahoma panhandle. And that rain also starting to fizzle out quite a bit. So our main features here were really just these tiny disturbances. And if those are weakening and tracking off to our north, we don't have too much to worry about as we start. Start the day, but we'll have the daytime heating. We'll have the moisture in the air because it's already here. So we'll still see isolated showers and thunderstorms pop mainly this afternoon. As soon as the sun goes down and we head into tonight, we lose that daytime heating, we lose that instability. So that threat will subside rather quickly. Big upper level low spinning down toward the Gulf of Mexico. It's fairly weak, not too much going on down there. High pressure over the Great Lakes and that clockwise flow kind of reinforcing the east and southeasterly winds around here for right now. Upper 60s out at the airport, still some hazy clouds, southeast wind, 5 miles per hour. So decently pleasant conditions. It's just the humidity left to deal with throughout today. 70 in Fort Dodge, 72 now in Des Moines, 71 in Kansas City, 69 in Kirksville. Dew points mainly in the mid 60s will be around the mid to upper 60s today. That's humid to very humid conditions. So not exactly comfortable when you have dew points in the mid to upper 60s and temperatures this afternoon. That will be in the mid to upper 80s in spots that will feel closer to the low 90s. Hazy clouds as we move through this morning. Not too much showing up, though, as far as precipitation. Very spotty showers and storms heading into this afternoon. This model doesn't exactly paint them across the viewing area, but I'd still be on the lookout, especially if you plan on being outdoors for mid to late afternoon. Not too much going on overnight. Partly cloudy to start off Sunday, so we'll get some sunshine in there. And even during the daytime, heading into the afternoon, not too much to worry about, I think, for the afternoon Sunday. But Sunday evening and Sunday night, some stronger storms uh, looking to form, mainly in central Nebraska, and just kind of work their way east into eastern Nebraska. That can bring some heavy rain, possibly some hail. Damaging winds would be the main threat to watch out for. Storm Prediction Center does have us in a slight risk. That would be for the Sunday evening and early Sunday night time frame. West Western Iowa not included in this, but I would still be on the lookout heading into Sunday night just because of the threat of some heavier rain, some lightning, and maybe some gusty winds that could get close to, say, uh, severe criteria. Here's your seven day forecast. Warm and muggy through the weekend. Probably a couple of places that hit 90 on Sunday. I have Omaha at 88. 85 on Monday, a slight chance of a morning shower or storm. Not too much to worry about there. Another round of storms, though, for Tuesday afternoon and evening. And once again, we will be on the watch for maybe some severe weather in there. So we need the rain. We certainly don't need the severe weather, but we'll keep an eye on things. Cool. Thanks, guys.